Alrighty, hello guys, Logan Me Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Rescue video, and today we are actually going to be checking out this plane right here. So as you guys can see, it is a twin prop tiny plane, and uh, we're going to be flying this thing around. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump inside of it and see what we can actually do today. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so this thing right here is actually called the Egoric? Egoric? Egoric Light Aeroplane. So, we're gonna go ahead and jump inside if we can, there we go, and we're gonna go ahead and fly it. Uh, is it easy to fly? Who knows? Oh, here we go. Okay, what in the world? We're already in the sky, and we are wibbly wobbly. Alright, but we're flying. Okay, excellent. Nice. I really, really like light aircraft, so uh, this one is actually, um, yeah, it's actually really cool. I like it. Okie dokie, so instead of actually just flying this thing around for no reason, we do actually have a job to do. So, essentially what we need to do is we need to find Obi's lighthouse, and we need to pick up the chief researcher, uh, and hopefully pick them up and fly them to, I, I think it's the creative base, so let's go ahead and get them, uh, and see if we can actually take them to their destination. Okie dokie, so we're now flying in the right direction. Let's go ahead and uh, have a little look at some of the things that this plane has. So if we press 4, we actually have navigation lights on the wings. And as you guys can see, they're sort of like stretched light bulbs. They look kind of cool, actually. Uh, we have the light underneath as well. We also have the light on this side. And I don't know if we've got a white light anywhere, but yeah, that's it. There you go. So a red light underneath, red light on the side, green light on the other side. That's all of our navigation lights. We then have these guys, which are our landing lights, which is pretty awesome. And we also have a heater as well, just in case we need it. Nice. It all works out. Cool. Okie dokie, what is that down there? That is a civilian boat. Okay, that's fine. This is actually the railroad coming from, uh, like, the Isle of Donk and stuff. It's actually coming out of there. Uh, so that means that that over there is Terminal Komodo, which also means that somewhere over here is Lighthouse OB. I think it's that island right there, in fact. Nice. Okie dokie, so we're actually going to go ahead and slow ourselves down a little bit, which is awesome, there we go. Uh, and we're actually going to have to land either on the road or on the railway. Now, I'm not sure which one's fatter or bigger, uh, but I'm assuming that the road is where we want to be, to be honest. And unfortunately, it's a curve, so it's going to be kind of tricky to do, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, here we go, so we're landing in the middle of trees as well. It's going to make things a little bit more interesting as well, so I guess we'll see how this goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and land ourselves down. And hopefully everything will go well. Tell you what. Tell you what, guys. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We landed our plane in the road. And we are about to take off again any second now. Okay. There's the researcher as well. We found him. We found you. I don't know why you didn't get a bus to an airport, but whatever. That's fine. Let's get out and grab this guy, and then uh, we'll take him to where he needs to go. Nice. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and put this guy inside. Uh, I do believe this is the only seat that is actually available, so you're going to have to sit in the back, which is, I guess, fine. Uh, there is no one else that we actually have to pick up from here, so that's A-OK -okay as well. Uh, I don't know whether we should fill up with fuel before we leave. Uh, because it is actually possible for us to go down here, attach ourselves onto the diesel thing, and um, buy some. Yeah, because I think we should be able to buy some. No, wait. Do we sell it here? Do we sell it or do we buy it? It says sell price. Buy for one. No, we buy it. Okay, I think we buy it from here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take off again. We need to fly over to the uh, this island over here. And we need to drop the guy off here. So let's get, a, get, yeah, let's get back inside. Fly over there. Drop him off. That'd be awesome. Okie dokie, everybody ready? Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Hopefully we can take off from here easy. Yes, we can. And we need to go in the right direction, so let's go. Awesome sauce. It flies really weirdly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I think that's because of the weight distribution on this thing. Because the engines are up here. Uh, and that's pretty crazy. I don't know where the fuel is, though. I don't know where the fuel is. There's not a lot of fuel, but it, it yeah, I'm not sure where it is. I don't know. Okie dokie, so the weather front has actually came in and it does look like it is very uh, windy, rainy, I, I don't know, it's it's bad outside, so we need to be careful on where we go. Uh, it is also worth mentioning there are no doors on the side of this thing, so we're getting wet right now, me and this guy, 
so that's good. Uh, and we got to actually land on the island. I don't know if we can fight the wind. I don't know if it's possible to fight it. So, um, yeah. Our really light aircraft is going to have to fight with a really, really bad wind. We also need to find where we're actually going, too, because I don't know where the creative base is. It should be somewhere over here, but I don't know where it is. Uh-oh. All right, well, we're going to continue flying in this direction. Hopefully, all is well. Let's go ahead and press 5 so we actually have our landing lights on. And I see some sort of light over there. Some sort of light was spinning. Over, over this direction. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I believe that's the island we need to land on. So let's... Oh, it is. It's the crater base. Nice. So let's get ourselves down. Land ourselves on the ground. And hopefully all will go well here. Oh, this is going to be a tricky landing. There, we got wind right behind our butts. We got wind on our butts. Oh, harsh landing, harsh landing. Oh, my. Okay. We're way too light to actually deal with wind, guys. We're too light to deal with wind. But we're down. We actually made it. All right, guy. Get out of my aircraft and see you later. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay, right. Well, you see? Problems. You see? It's just getting taken away. I don't think there's a parking brake on this, is there? I don't think there's a parking brake. No. There isn't. There's, there's no parking brake, so it's just going to get taken away. Unless I press 3. No? I mean, I don't know. I think I, we have to apply some throttle to fight, to fight the wind so we don't move. There we go. All right, excellent. Well, anyway, um, this thing is actually really, really cool. I really, really like it. Uh, it's possible to land it pretty much anywhere, which is awesome. Uh, and it's really, really fuel efficient, as you guys can see from this. Hold on. It only carries like 170 fuel to begin with. And we've flown quite far, so that's pretty good. I like it. Nice. Hello, Mr. Researcher. Can we get him? Can we actually get him? No, we can't chop him up. I tried, but I, I don't think it's possible. Where are you? There you are. All right, I'm going to throw you into it. Sorry. I can't do it in time. There we go. We got him. We killed him. Woo! Nice. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. If you guys want to check this thing out, then uh, I'll link it down below, and you guys can definitely play around with it for yourselves. Uh, and yeah, do some missions and stuff with it because it's awesome. But anyway, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.